What is up, Crypto Love? Randall here. Today, I have probably the most difficult video I've ever had to make for Crypto Love because it entails basically everything. We're going to look at what is Bitcoin. And if you're watching this, maybe you're subscribing. Thank you very much. If you found it some other way, you're probably just getting into Bitcoin, trying to figure out what is this thing? Why do people talk about Bitcoin? Why is it all the rage these days? And I'm hopefully going to explain that to you. All right. Now to begin with, Bitcoin is an open source, decentralized, peer-to-peer -peer digital currency. What does that mean? All right. Well, if you take a look at their website here, Bitcoin.org, they have a lot of information about Bitcoin. And if you're new to Bitcoin, I would definitely recommend checking out that website. Now, this is different than Bitcoin.com. This one will give you a bit more information. The video here is a great way to start, but basically it's open source. That means that anyone can look at the code behind Bitcoin. It's digital. That means it's online. It's peer to peer. That means person to person with no intermediaries. It's decentralized. That means that it doesn't belong to a central bank. Everyone kind of owns it. And lastly, most important, it's a currency. So you can buy your pizza. You can go, you can buy a pizza here in New York. You can travel to Paris, buy a pizza there. And then you could go to Lima and Peru and buy a pizza there. And you could do all those things with Bitcoin. Now, right now it's not completely easy, but it's getting there. Probably in the next five years, it's gonna to be totally easy with a card just to go pay with Bitcoin wherever. And once that happens, once it has worldwide adoption, then the price of Bitcoin is going to be through the roof. Okay, now you're saying Bitcoin is a currency. How much is Bitcoin worth? And very good question. You see, the price of Bitcoin changes on the daily. It changes all the time. All right, today it's worth $3,935. Yesterday it was worth something different and tomorrow it'll be worth something different. So you got to pay attention. The price always fluctuates. And for those of you looking at this chart saying, what are those other things? Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Ripple? Oh, what are they? Those are other cryptocurrencies. And really, Bitcoin was the first one. The rest of the cryptocurrencies, they came after. But it's this whole new technology. It's as important as the invention of the internet because this is doing for finance what the internet did for publishing. I mean, I wouldn't be able to have my own TV show if it were not for the internet, but here, I can make these videos, you guys watch them, maybe you laugh a little bit, maybe you just click unsubscribe, whatever it is, I mean, you do what you do. Now, taking a look at Bitcoin, I said the price changes. This is the Bitcoin charts over the past four years. Now, Bitcoin has been around since 2009. This is just the past four years looking at the growth and you can see it's starting to get some exponential growth. I mean, look at this stuff. Four years ago, Bitcoin was worth $100. Now, boom, it was just at an all-time high of almost $5,000. So that's crazy. I mean, it's just going up skyrocketing. And the more people adopt it, the, uh, the more valuable it becomes. And one reason why it becomes so valuable is because there is a capped max supply of Bitcoin of 21 million Bitcoin. That means that once that's reached, no more Bitcoin can be created. So therefore the value of Bitcoin will just go up and up and up and up. It's not like US dollars where they just print them, you know, they print some more and then they feel like printing more, they print some more. That devalues the money, that causes deflation. So Bitcoin is a non-deflationary type of money. Even though right now when they're producing more, they're mining more, it is somewhat deflationary. By the time we reach that max supply, not deflationary anymore. Now, where do you go and get Bitcoin? Well, one of the easiest places to go get Bitcoin is to go to Coinbase.com. And if you are looking to get Bitcoin and if you're going to go to Coinbase.com, just click that link I have down below. You get $10. I get $10. You know, fair share. And you can get started. You can buy your Bitcoin just today. You can get started. You can have some Bitcoin today. You would just go to Coinbase.com, click sign up or click that link that I have below. And... Now, Bitcoin is a currency. People have a hard time wrapping their head around this currency because it's not like tangible. It's not like dollar bills. It's not like yen. It's not like euros or British pounds, whatever those things are. Those are just pieces of paper they're printed on. I mean, for instance, I could have a paper wallet and I could just, this is not a paper wallet. This is just an illustration of a paper wallet. I could have a paper wallet printed out on a sheet of paper 
and this would be the tangible Bitcoin. But other than that, Bitcoin just kind of exists in imaginary space. But it's no more imaginary than a lot of ways that we spend money nowadays. For those of you who use PayPal, I mean, you're not literally transacting paper dollars with someone else. You're doing it through PayPal. Another one you might have used, Visa. All right, now Visa, huge credit card. They have lots of uh, cards out there. And that is another thing. I mean, you just swipe your card or some of you just scan your phone or whatever it is. And you're doing uh, transactions without actually using paper money. So that's really no different than using Bitcoin in itself. And really, Visa is trying to do something. Join the Visa Cashless Challenge. All right, they're trying to do away with cash as it is. You might as well just use Bitcoin because at least with Bitcoin, there's no middleman. There's no Visa, you know, getting a cut of everything. You get to keep your money. Now, Bitcoin came around when we had the last economic depression, 2008, when everything crashed, the housing bubble, the banks, the scandals, and somebody said Bitcoin. I'll go into who later. Now, Bitcoin is a currency. That's half of the reason why it's valuable, because it's a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer currency. The other reason it's so valuable is because it's built on what's called the blockchain. All right, now this is getting into a bit more technical things. Uh, this could go into a whole video on itself, but basically the blockchain is a way, a distributed ledger, basically a way of verifying transactions that occur uh, without having a centralized system. So this means that all these different computers, all these different nodes that miners mine, they keep track of the transactions in there. So you don't need a bank to do it. And the bank doesn't need to put their money, their hand in your pocket. Now I said miners, and no, I'm not talking about these good looking guys. These miners are basically just people with very fast processors on their computers, and they're just checking the transactions. They're discovering new blocks, they're validating transactions, and then they get rewarded in Bitcoin. And once all the Bitcoin are mined, then they'll be rewarded in uh, transaction fees. But until then, we're not looking at these guys, just guys with very fast processors. Now, I mentioned previously that there was a dude who invented Bitcoin. Now, the guy who invented Bitcoin, the name he gave is Satoshi Nakamoto. But he's actually kind of uh, elusive. No one's ever met him. Nobody knows who he is. He's kind of mysterious. This dude here was another guy whose name was Satoshi Nakamoto. And back, I think, in 2013, it was all... People thought that he was the one who created Bitcoin, but he's not. He's just a funny looking guy who has the same name. Now, some people say, well, you don't know who created Bitcoin. I mean, what are you going to do with it? Do you know who created the dollar bill? Do you know who created the British pound? Not really, but you'd use it. You believe in it. And really, it is just kind of a system of belief. It's a belief that this thing has value and I can exchange it for something else of value. And actually, the first Bitcoin transaction where people exchange things of value was back in 2010, Laszlo Hanyex traded 10,000 Bitcoin for two pizzas in Jacksonville, Florida. Now back then, that seemed like a good deal because he could just get a lot more Bitcoin. Nowadays, that 10,000 Bitcoin, that's worth $40 million. That's a lot of money for two pizzas. Those are probably the world's most expensive pizzas. I hope they were good. But if, if it wasn't for that transaction, we probably wouldn't have Bitcoin as we know of it today. So it's a good thing that he spent those 10,000 Bitcoin on pizza and it helped develop the system, help people get exchanging it so then they could use the currency. Now, why buy Bitcoin? Well, one, you could buy stuff with it. You could use it for transactions. You might also just hold on to it. It's called hodling, H-O-D-L-I-N-G. And that people do that because it's suspected that Bitcoin is going to be worth quite a bit. As a matter of fact, if you just look up Bitcoin in 2020, they have varying prices for Bitcoin between fifteen and twenty thousand dollars. We have uh, five hundred seventeen thousand dollars. We have fifty-five thousand dollars. We have a hundred thousand dollars, and really nobody knows. I mean, this is all speculation, but people do believe it's going to be more valuable. They don't believe it's going to be worth zero dollars. Nobody's saying Bitcoin is going to be worth zero dollars. So right now, Bitcoin's worth almost four thousand dollars. People are saying it's going through the roof. I personally, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do with your money, but I believe Bitcoin is going to be worth in the millions of dollars per Bitcoin because there are more millionaires in the world than there are Bitcoin that'll ever be mined. 
that means that even if they wanted to, those millionaires could not own Bitcoin. That to me makes it worth more than a million dollars. Boom. Now, this dude, you might have heard of McAfee Security. It's kind of like Norton Antivirus, one of the first antivirus softwares. This dude, John McAfee, he's big into Bitcoin. He mines Bitcoin. He's all about Bitcoin. Now, he says that Bitcoin will be worth, will be above $500,000 in three years. All right, that means 2017, by 2020, he thinks it's going to be above $500,000. And he asked if anyone wanted to bet. This dude said he wants to bet. And John McAfee actually said, if it's not worth above $500,000 in three years, I will eat my dick on national television. All right. He's pretty confident about that. And then someone said, I would love to see 499,499. I think we would all, I think that would be funny for all of us. Right. Now you're saying, okay, this Bitcoin thing is awesome. Where can I get in? Like I said, Go to Coinbase.com, click that link below, or there are many other ways you can get involved in Bitcoin. There are Bitcoin ATMs across the world. You could actually buy Bitcoin from someone on Craigslist or some other online auction site. Uh, you do, if you are new to Bitcoin, probably want to stick with Coinbase just because there are a lot of people who try to scam people out in the world. You know, bad people who do this stuff, who just try and make an easy buck. So try Coinbase. Do one of the other things, get involved in Bitcoin or don't. It's really up to you. I just tend to think that if you're not in Bitcoin, you're going to be missing out big time in the future. Now, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope I gave you some information. I know there's a whole bunch more I could have talked about about Bitcoin, but that's kind of a beginner one. What is Bitcoin? I think we answered that one. Now, I'd like to hear, do you guys have any more questions about Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies? What's going on with that? If you enjoyed what you watched, please get, click subscribe. I'll be making many more videos over the next every day. And it was great to talk to you. Have a good one. Peace.